have you been, been, Sheriff? In the world up above. But I'm back now, just in time, too, for the children's corner. When I'm sitting around with my homework all done and there's nothing to do, I call all of my friends, they don't answer the phone. Where have they gone to? Where do you go? So, what you're saying, fairy, what was that again? Blinks a lot. Right. Blinks a lot is that you'd like to file a report against your sister, fairy... Blink and tell. Uh, that's it. Blink and tell for identity theft. That's correct. She's been flying around telling everybody she's me and ruining my reputation. How so? Everybody knows that she's a tattletale and can't keep a secret. Now everybody thinks I'm the tattletale and can't be trusted. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I hate it when they cry. Um, yeah. We'll figure something out. Uh, maybe we can uh, work it out and fix the problem without filing a report. I just have to find her first. I'll have to get some more information. So, oh, hi there, everybody. And welcome to the town of the Children's Corner, located in the world of the Magical Couch. I'm Sheriff Stephen J., the Sheriff of Slouch County. Today I got a little sheriffing thing going on um, with some... A sister thing, and I, anyway, the saying, anyhow, I'll get back to it. I gotta fix the problem. But you just missed me because I just got back from the world up above, and I was at a little place called Margaret's. And Margaret's is a little hole in the wall kind of place, and Margaret owns it with her husband Dave. And I go there from time to time to, you know, have a lunch, get something to eat, whatever. And they have hot dogs there, and they have like Italian sausage, you know, with the peppers and onions. And they also pride themselves on their lobster rolls. Well, I have no idea how you make a lobster roll. But Dave told me it was pretty easy, and he actually not only made me a lobster roll, he showed me how they do it. Dave? Hey, Dave. In here, Dave? Ah, there you are. I am. Sheriff Stephen Jay here, as you can see. Hey, I was just walking by, and I'm kind of hungry. So, I know you have a lot of good stuff here to eat, and I thought I'd see, you know, what was good on the menu today. Lobster roll. Lobster roll. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Hot here. So this is where you and Margaret do the magic. This is where Margaret does the magic. That's why her name is on the building. Unfortunately, she had to be gone today but she heard the sheriff was in town and we really wanted to show you our place and show you how lobster rolls are made. How long have you and Margaret had this place? This would be the third year. Three years. And how did it start out as? I mean, when you first opened the place, did you have food? Did you not have food? I noticed you have antiques in the front of the place. Yeah. Well, Margaret likes to go to auctions and I love to eat. <laughs> so she figured I can feed him and sell my antiques at the same time. Yeah, you got some nice ones out there. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. And I noticed you have the lobster roll, and you also have the Italian... Uh, yeah, sausage. Sausage with onions and peppers. It's very good. I love those. So, um, what do you say? Oh, so we're going to have... A, well, what do you think? What should we make? Well, what's easy? We could make a lobster roll, but we can't tell too many people how we make it because we have the best lobster rolls, you know? <laughs> All right, so it's a secret. All right, I understand. I keep a secret how you make the lobster roll. But where do you make the lobster roll? We make them over here. That's my lobster workstation. So your workstation. That's right. All right, well, I'll just stand here while you do it. Okay, great. Right, cool. So what we're gonna do is take out freshly made buns. And there's a lot of confusion between hot dog buns and frankfurter buns. A frankfurter bun has flat sides on both sides and a hot dog bun basically has rounded sides all the way around. So we like the Frankfurter bun because that can actually cook and toast evenly on both sides. So we're going to take a little bit of clarified butter. We're 
gonna butter both sides of the roll. And then we're gonna put it on the grill to do its magic. It has to be just lightly, lightly brown. So as we're waiting for that, we're gonna use a piece of foil here to wrap our freshly grilled bun in. It keeps the bun moist and it keeps the bun warm. So what we're gonna do is use our foil and next we're gonna go to the lobster meat. And in here we find tail meat, fresh tail meat uh, picked daily and brought to our shop. So this is what Margaret does. She usually takes and breaks the tail meat in half, put it over here in the scale and, we, and she weighs it up to about, oh, I forgot, that's a secret. But we put in tail meat. Ooh, this is the claw of a lobster. We put in claw meat. Let's find a couple of those. There's another big claw. We're going to throw that claw in there also. And the sweetest part of the meat is the knuckles. These little tiny pieces of knuckle. We're going to throw that in there. And look, we're almost there. Perfect. Can't tell you what it is, but it's perfect. Okay, next. We use just a, a dab of mayo. Not very much, just to coat it, because the meat is also moist. And as you see, as we turn it around, moist meat. Ooh, it looks so good. I wish I was eating it. Then, where's our bun? Oh, here's our bun now. Freshly grilled. Perfectly brown on both sides. Wrapped enough oil to stay warm and moist. And the magic begins right here. Piece of tail meat. Another piece of tail meat. Ooh, we put a claw in there. And then we take our knuckle pieces and spread them out through them. So every bite you take is going to have a little bit of tail. A little bit of a knuckle and a little bit of claw. Ooh, we saved the last big claw for last. Wow, CMJ. This could be one of Margaret's best yet. If I don't watch it, she'll make me work here. Okay, now the final secret touch. We take a little bit of butter. Just a little drop here and there. And you're going to say, what's that secret sauce you put on there? Is it mayo or is it butter? So we, here we are, the final product. A perfect lobster roll at Margaret's for Sheriff Stephen J. For me? Come on over. Are you sure? Looks a little cramped over there. Yeah, come on over. Oh, all right, I'm going to check this out. That's pretty, looks pretty good. It is good. And that's for me? Open your bag. Well, I can't really open the bag because it's kind of like it's the world of, it's something I can't. However, I can take it my free hand. Okay. Very good. Why, thank you, buddy. Margaret, thanks you for stopping by. And I thank Margaret for, you know, liking me coming by and not kicking me out when I come by. <laughs> so tell her I said hi. Okay. And I appreciate it, Dave, and I'll be back. Okay. Bye-bye. Lobster roll. Yeah, love lobster roll. They make a great one here at Margaret's. It's hot in here, too. Bye, Dave. See ya. Oh, you will. Lobster roll from Margaret's. You know, I've never had a lobster roll from here. So I gotta try this before. I, I just gotta eat it now. I can't wait. I'll tell you what, I wasn't even down the rope ladder back into Souch County in the world of the magical couch, and that lobster roll was eaten. Pretty good lobster roll. Well, I have to get back to my sheriff and with the fairy thing here. Um, I don't know. Got to find this, I don't know, this identity thing, and I got to find the other fairy before I can do anything. Whoa! What is that? Well, that's convenient. Looks like she found us. They told me I'd find you here. I'm reporting you to the sheriff because you keep saying you're me. I do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. Do not. 
do too. Ladies, ladies, let's be civil about this. Civil? You don't know what civil means? Well, that's half your problem. But it just happens to be a children's corner alphabet chef's word of interest. I know alphabet chef Stephanie. I know an alphabet chef. I think his name is Scott. They're, They're nice, nice people. people. Civil. C I V I L. Civil. Meaning to be courteous and polite. Civil. Well, I'll try, but she keeps stealing my name. Well, maybe I have told one or two people, but I'm sorry about that, but I can't help it. You see, when people hear my name, they think I'm a big tattletale, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Did you hear that Black Bart went to the new dentist in town and the dentist pulled the wrong tooth? The dentist does not want anybody to know about that because it would be bad for business or something. Oh, got a customer. Now I can practice my expertise. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Stop. I can't see. Wait, I got it. Just a minute. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. Good morning, sir. How can I help you today, sir? Uh, you the new dentist in town? Oh, yes, sir. I'm Dr. Francine C. Jessup, sir. And that's with two S's, sir. Uh, uh. Francine? Yes, sir. Doesn't sound much like a man's name. It's well, kind of strange. Well, see, you see, sir, uh, my uh, mother wanted a girl, sir. <laughs> Funny story about that, sir. It's too sweet. Yes, sir. You got a lot of newspapers on the wall. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, you see, sir, I just moved in here, sir, and um, I ordered some wallpaper, sir. However, the wallpaper hasn't come on the stage yet, sir. So the sheriff was kind enough to let me use some of his old newspapers and some old wanted posters, sir to cover those old walls until my wallpaper comes. Now, tell me what seems to be your situation. Oh, well, uh, I got this, uh, this tooth. It's been bothering me lately and hurts really bad. And, uh, very sensitive to hot and cold liquids. I see. Well, this is going to require an examination, sir. And I just want you to not worry, because I have all the latest dental equipment that's available these days, sir. Right here, sir. Oh, that looks more like uh, billing tools, not dental tools. <laughs> Don't be silly, sir. Some of these were tools I used to put up the wallpaper and the posters, sir. Oh, now, come, now let's get going with the examination. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, but uh, listen, uh, Doc, with all due respect, when you talk to me, can you Kind of turn your head. I mean, you've been spitting all over me. I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, just have a seat. Don't worry about anything, sir. Just right over here, please. And uh, let me find that extraction tool. <sighs> but perhaps I won't need the extraction tool. I tell you, let me get my, my tools to see exactly what's going on in that mouth of yours, sir. <laughs> I'm sure it's filthy, whatever it is. Now, uh, what did I do Ugh. with that examination a piece of equipment? Oh, here it is. Okay, Sarah, I'm just gonna sit down right here. I want you to stay off for me, sir. Okay, uh, are you ready, sir? Okay, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Do you chew, sir? Uh, well, sometimes. I mean, on occasion. Yes. I thought so, sir. Filthy have I must say. Well, unfortunately, sir, you have a big fight going on be between tooth decay and your bicuspids. Uh, oh, is, uh, is that bad? Yes, sir, very bad. I'm afraid I'm going to have to perform an extraction, sir. Oh, Are you okay. Up that, sir? Is it going to hurt? Oh, don't be ridiculous, sir. Just a little quick pull and you'll, you'll be better than new, sir. You don't know what happened to you. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's, get, let's see. Let's, let me get the equipment required for this delicate surgery. Let me see. Now, what did I do with that? What did I do with that extraction tool? That should work. Okay, sir. 
Uh, why don't you just mm, go back and kick us, see? Say, ah. Mm hmm. That's right. Mm hmm. Ah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ah. 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 Ah.
All right, about half of the onion. We'll cut up half of this red pepper. I really like peppers because they kind of have teeth and you can imagine them having little eyes up here. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway. And the same with the yellow pepper. I wonder if he'll have teeth. Oh yes, he does. Look at that. Yellow pepper. Being very careful to keep our fingers out of the way. All right. So now we have the vegetables all cut and we can go ahead and turn on the gas. While that's sauteing, I'm gonna cut these sausages. This is one of my favorite kind of sausages. This is a chicken feta spinach sausage. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these babies up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage right to that. Hmm, that little Mr. Weenie, he was awful cute. I really liked his hat. I wonder if he rides a little tiny horse. So I'm gonna put about a quarter of the box in there. And I'm gonna add some water. Give that a little stir. And those noodles will cook, those alphabets will cook while this is cooking. All right, this is perfect. Shut that one right off. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to this pan right here, very carefully. Try not to splash too much. Perfect, look at that. Just perfect. Okay, I'm shutting the fire off and our soup is done. Wonderful. Let's spoon some up. Oh, this looks great. What was that? Oh. Wow, you've made my day, Sarah. Thanks for the information. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, just got off the phone here with our telephone operator, Sarah. And she has informed me that Alphabet Chef Becky has stopped by my house and made my favorite soup, slouch chicken sausage, and spinach alphabet soup. I love that soup. And the fairies are gone now, but I have sent Fairy Blinkentail over to Dr. Blake's office so he can take time with her and try to figure out what her problem is so maybe he can solve it. I think it's a medical thing. Yeah. And speaking of time, we're out of time and I'm out of a voice. I've been losing it on and off all day. I might be coming down with something, so I better go. But I want to thank you for dropping by today, and I look forward to the next time we all get together on the Children's Corner. Hi there. I'm Fairy Blinkentel. What's your name? The name's Dill, ma'am. Kikimus Saravis Dill. People call me Mr. Dill. You're kind of cute, Kuki. Are you single? No, ma'am. I'm a happily married pickle. We have a son, too. His name's Junior. Oh, is he cute like you, Kuki? Well, he's orange, and he doesn't have any arms or legs. Actually, he's a carrot, but uh, that's another story. And the name's Dill, ma'am. Mr. Dill. Kuki. Uh, Dill. Kuki. Dill. Kuki, Kuki, Kuki. <laughs>
Dill, dill, and uh, dill. Chucky. Dill. Where do you go? Where do you go?